All right, once we're at the hoopgeeks.com application on how to measure your vertical leap, I can load a video or an example video. I can read the tutorial or actually watch another video. I'm going to select the example video of this guy jumping and I'm going to use it in order to figure out how much time he, stand, he is in the air. So I'm going to hit play and I'm going to hit pause and then use these buttons to look for the point at which his feet just barely leave the court. Is where his feet start to leave. This is called the takeoff. And when I click this button, you'll see that the takeoff time here mimics the time in the video. Now, I need to find out when he lands, so I'm going to drag this bar. He's in the air now. He's still in the air. Oh, he's coming back down. And I'm going to use these advanced and... Okay, that's too far. So they just touch the ground there. That is the landing point. And you'll see that the landing point mimics right here. So this person stayed in the air 0.67 seconds. And I can select inches, and this is his vertical jump, but in my science class centimeters is much more interesting. On my worksheet, I'm going to record this number in a box, this number in a box, and this number and this number in the box. If I want to load my own video, I can go find a video of, say, Michael Jordan dunking a basketball, load it in, and do the same technique in order to figure out Michael Jordan's hang time.